The 12th Annual Soup Stew Chili and Brew Festival, brought to you by Brookstone Financial, is just around the corner. Come enjoy the only festival on Madison's Main Street, October 11th from 11 to 6. Live music, the Grody Kids Zone, and shopping in Madison's beautiful historic district. Come sample soups, stews, chilies, and brews. Celebrate local musical talent, support nonprofits and businesses, and enjoy a fun fall festival. See MadisonIndiana.com for details. Soup Stew Chili and Brew, October 11th from 11 to 6. Hi, I'm Andy Rickmer, and welcome to this episode of Scratch Cooking. Come into my restaurant at Crystal and Jewels in downtown Madison. All right. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Scratch Cooking. I'm Andy Rickmer here at Crystal and Jewels, downtown Madison. Today, we're going to be making our blackened seared tuna with a caramelized onion and garlic aioli. And then we're also going to do that with a side of our Brussels sprouts that we serve here at the restaurant. So, let's get started. All right, so what we have here is we just got some, some Brussels sprouts that's been cleaned um, and just whole. We're going to put them in a pot of salted boiling water. And what we're doing right here is we're just blanching. So we're going to let those go for a little bit and then we're going to dump them right in ice water. All right, so you're going to give those Brussels sprouts about two minutes, two or three minutes in the boiling water. And while we're doing that, we're going to get started on our onion. And this is, this is going to be what is uh, the caramelized onion and garlic aioli for the tuna. Do a quick peel on this onion here. And I'm just going to kind of do a rough chop on this, or a, you know, just a rough julienne. Just kind of saute it down a little bit faster. And what we're going to do is go right over to our pot with this. All right. So we're going to come over this pan, get it hot, do a little bit of olive oil. Notice we still got our Brussels sprouts blanching over here. They're about done. I'm going to let that get hot. I'm going to drop these right in. You want to hear that sizzle? And immediately when you get this in, you're going to salt it. And what that does is it kind of helps the onions in caramelizing and it starts to bring the natural sugars and the, and the moisture out of them onions. So now once these are in there and sizzling real good, I'm going to get, I got a uh, half cup of garlic here that's going to go right in. Just some garlic cloves that I kind of peeled and all that. So this is going real good, got it seasoned. Now we're going to pull out, pull our Brussels sprouts off. All right, so now while this is going, kind of give that a quick stir again. We're going to go ahead and strain our Brussels sprouts here. And I just did it here, so I just strain them off. And then we're going to go right into the ice water. All right, so we got these strained off, and we're just going to shock them right now. That's what we're doing. We're just stopping the cooking. And what blanching does is these green vegetables have chlorophyll in them, and it just brings out the green color, keeps it bright during uh, while we're going to saute them and finish them. Um, and then it also kind of uh, helps them not be as crunchy and, and raw when you're, when you're cooking them. So now we're going to go right back over here. All right. So now you can start to see that these uh, these onions are getting good and caramelized. Notice how they're getting kind of brownish color. What you're going to do now is you can we're going to hit this with a little chicken stock. Uh, you could get it at the grocery store. Uh, I like the one in the in the can called College Inn uh, chicken broth, but. Um, you can use any one you want, Swanson's. Um, and I want to make this show to where you can get everything right here at the local store. I'm not going to pull out like milk from the tears of Dutch virgins or anything. But uh, we want to make sure you can get everything right here in town. That way you can make everything along with me. But uh, now we're just going to bring this back up to a boil. And, and then we'll come back right back to it. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of wiping up a little bit. 
I'm just going to strain this, uh, this ice water off these Brussels sprouts. I'm just doing it in this pan here so that way we can, we don't have to have a lot of camera angles and it's just easier for everybody. Alright, so I got these strained off. I'm going to come over here and just put them on a clean towel here. Set this off to the side. And what we do here at Crystal and Jewels, you can leave these whole if you want, uh, but what we do here is we just cut them in half kind of clean up the bottoms a little bit if they got a little bit of uh, you know brown on the bottoms but we cut them in half so that way all of our seasonings and our herbs and everything get all inside of the Brussels sprout I'm just doing a real quick one right like this but we put these on our menu and it's like people go nuts over them. we sell so many we go through about probably nine pounds of Brussels sprouts a week here at the restaurant. But I'm just putting these in this, kind of clean it up a little bit. Fold this towel over, kind of get our water off our cutting board. All right, so now we're gonna check on our onions and garlic. It's looking good. It's reducing. And the, the more you reduce down, the more that chicken stock will intensify in flavor. All right. Okay, now that we're good and reduced down, you can kind of see that most of that liquid's out of there. I like to keep some of it in there, um, just kind of help the blender out. We're going to go right over here to my blender. Get this all plugged in. And it's going to go right on top. And this is the exact dish that we do at uh, crystal and jewels here. Okay, we got all that in there. I'm gonna add just a touch of Worcestershire sauce, probably about, you know, two tablespoons, just to kind of help the blender out a little bit, like I was saying. And we're gonna puree this down. That's good and puree and move this out of the way. And over here I got a cup and a half of mayonnaise. Now what you're gonna do with this mayonnaise is you're gonna add this caramelized onion and garlic puree that you just did right in there. Right down there. I'm just gonna kind of mix this all together. It kind of makes a little, little bit of a sauce for your tuna. Right like that. Now, okay, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to season this up a little bit. Well, salt and pepper. Like I said in all my videos, make sure you salt and pepper everything. It separates you. Now I'm just going to do a real quick chop on some of this parsley here. This kind of adds a little another fresh note in it because uh, you can't beat fresh parsley, especially this time of year out of your garden. It's awesome. It just gives a little herbage. Just a real quick chop. Right. That's your sauce for your tuna. So now it's going to go pretty fast. We're going to go over here and saute our tuna. Or, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, we're going to sear our tuna and then we're going to saute our Brussels sprouts, which we're going to do that right now. So now what we're going to come over here and do is we're going to get our pans on about, I don't know, a little bit over medium high heat. Brussels sprouts, you want them hot. Put a little vegetable oil in here. Get that hot. And you want to make sure this is hot for your for your tuna. So now I got two pieces of yellowfin tuna here. 
that we're gonna put in our blackening spice. We make our own here, Crystal and Jewels. It's, uh, you know, it's about 18 different ingredients. They sell good ones at, at uh, the stores here in Madison. Um, but we just like to make our own everything here just because I don't feel like such a out of the bag type restaurant. So you can hear my pan over here popping and yelling at me. We're gonna put that right in. Kind of give it a good push. And now my oil's heated up for my Brussels sprouts. Right in. And just like with the caramelized onions, we're gonna go ahead and salt these. Right there at the beginning, so then that way, whoa here, fallen soldier there. Salute you, sir. All right, you see how these are getting kind of caramelized up already? That's when we're gonna hit it with a little bit of our chicken stock. Kind of cool it down a little bit. And I'm also gonna hit it with some of our fresh herbs that we make here at Crystal and Jewels. This is garlic, shallots, tarragon, basil, parsley, and oregano, all pureed up. We're gonna put it right in there. All right, so we got that in there. And now basically what we're doing is we're just letting that reduce down. Our tuna is ready to be flipped. Got one, got two. And we're just gonna let that other side blacken real good. Let these sprouts reduce down. Right. All right, see how that's getting good and black in there? We're gonna let the other side go for just another minute. But this is gonna be, when you cut, the, when you cut this open at the end, as you'll see, this is gonna be a rare mid-rare. So now the other side looks blackened. I'm gonna cut the heat. All right, you can see that chicken stock's kind of reduced down. I'm gonna cut my heat. I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter here. Just about a tablespoon. Just kind of coat it. Let that melt down, kind of make a sauce. Re-season. And these Brussels sprouts are complete. Now we're gonna come over here and plate. All right, so now, here at Crystal and Jewels, these are our plates. Um, we just kind of put them right in here, get all that good sauce all over them. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our caramelized onion and garlic aioli. I'm gonna go right in the center with it. Take a piece of this tuna here. Got good and blackened on the other side. I'm gonna cut this right in half. And you can see, rare to mid-rare. And I always like the point facing up towards the guest, so that way it shows off like the, the colors. Kind of give it a little wipage. And that's our tuna, our seared tuna here at Crystal and Jewels. So, thanks for joining us for another episode of Scratch Cooking with me, Andy Rickmer, here at Crystal and Jewels, 709 West Main Street, downtown Madison. We're open Tuesday through Thursday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thanks for joining us again, and once again, thanks to all my guests that support us here. Have a good day.